everybody i am here with an update on my bedroom makeover um my first video when whilst filming this my first video has only just gone up yesterday um, so thank you so much for all your lovely comments i'm so excited by how excited you all are about like more interior content and it's made me so inspired it's made me want to like sort out my office um i think that's gonna be a project for next year but for now we're sorting out the bedroom and i'm so excited so many of you guys love um, our ideas and Rebecca's just been amazing. On Saturday she emailed me with her kind of thoughts and mood board and I thought I'd let you know like the process. So she sent me a mood board, I'll show you in a moment, and then she said here are some things I really think we should do and here are some kind of non-essential but would look epic, she said. Is she watching me? <laughs> Great, this is how you do a YouTube video. So Things that she thinks we should definitely do, add two floating shelves above the TV. She's found on Etsy you can buy floating shelves that are pre-painted in whatever farrow and ball paint you want. Genius. I'm basically going to get our decorator who did our house to come and do a few things all on one day. So floating shelves, add a flatter, bigger TV, which is fine, that's something we always wanted to do anyway. I think what we're going to do... It doesn't make sense to buy a new TV for our bedroom because we hardly ever use it. So we're going to put our TV from downstairs, which is a 40 inch, up in our bedroom and then buy a new TV for the lounge, hopefully in the Black Friday sale. That would be fab. Change bedside tables. I knew that was going to happen. Um, as lovely as the ones I have now are, they don't really go with the room. Change the bedding. She's like, there's lots of options here. You could do like white headboard with an oatmeal bedding and sage green throw or like an oatmeal headboard with white bedding and an oatmeal throw. So I've sent her back what I like. I definitely don't want a white headboard. And then add a gallery wall on the wall opposite the windows. She's like, you can either do a mix of like frames and mirrors and like a bench, or you could even do like a console table with prints. So we're just thinking about what's more practical there with like a baby and stuff. Change the bed. So in Rebecca's ideal world, she would like to change the entire bed. I said to her that I just feel like it would be a bit wasteful. So we're trying to think of some other options. So we definitely want to change the headboard, but obviously if we change the color of the headboard, the base of the bed is gray. So we're looking at using like a valance, which is one of those things. We've seen if that's gonna work. So yeah, that that's, that's what she said is like something she definitely wants to change. Non-essential, but would look epic. <laughs> Painting the radiators and setting plaster. I'm happy to do that. At first I was unsure because I just, feel like in like my parents' house, radiators that have been painted are now starting to like peel away and I just wasn't sure. But apparently if you use the right paint, it's fine. And I think I agree it would look better if the radiators are kind of invisible rather than standing out. Adding a black bay window pole with some lightweight linen curtains. We're gonna look into that. We're gonna look into whether it just have two on the edge that aren't actually used or have four that can be used. I just don't want it to block any light because I sit there by the window and I film. Change the handles on the wardrobes to, to black. So I'm gonna look at Dowsing and Reynolds, the same people that did my handles downstairs, and change the bulbs as my bedside lights. That wasn't something I'd actually considered, but she's right, because they're glass, and you can see the kind of bulb inside that, that gives it more that princessy look. It doesn't really go. She thinks something softer, um, you know, like frosted bulbs would look better. And yeah, I think that's kind of it. So I wanted to show you guys, she sent me a mood board, and then she sent me three options and she's like, I had so many ideas. These are kind of three different schemes. She was like, don't focus too much on the specific products because they can be changed. It's just kind of the general theme. So let me show you guys. So exciting. By the way, when I read this, like it's so my personality, but I got totally overwhelmed and like freaked out. Like the control freak in me gets freaked out when someone else like kind of takes control, but that this is what this is all about. So I'm learning how to just kind of let go of that control and let, let the experts do what they do. Okay, here's the mood board. So it's just a collection of images that inspire her, that she likes for the room. A lot of them are like friends of mine, like Kate. And there's another girl that I know on here, which is really nice to see. But I absolutely love all of these images. So this is just a great way for us to know that we're definitely on the same page. Um, and also it's made me realize I definitely do like the color of my bedroom. There's a new paint from Farrow and Ball called Sulking Room Pink, which they didn't have when we did it, which I think is a slightly nicer pink, but I definitely think we can make setting plaster kind of work. <gasps> that mirror is so nice. Um, so yeah, these are all the images. I'm just gonna keep scrolling down so you guys can see the kind of inspiration. So this is what she sent me in terms of product selection. 
So there's like a green velvet bench, which I wasn't sure about. Bedside tables I like. I don't love the maroon accents. I know it goes well with the paint, but I just feel like I'm not a maroon person. There's a dark charcoal headboard in here, a wooden desk, a black and white kind of quite geometric rug and some linen curtains. Option two, the images look like this. They're kind of slightly warmer, slightly darker images. I don't, she's like a whiz at finding references, by the way. Her Pinterest boards must be incredible. So on this one, we've got like a darker walnut desk, um, this kind of black and rattan bench, uh, wooden bedside tables again, some more kind of red accents, darker red, and this rug, which I really like because it's got a bit of the black in it, but it's not like full on kind of crazy. And I think that's kind of like an oatmeal headboard. And then option three has got these very much kind of lighter, brighter images. You can definitely tell the difference with those. And the products on here, there's like a lighter wood bedside table, this stripy rug, which looks like a thinner rug, which I quite like. This little bench, which is from Ikea. I like the look off, but I do, I do think it looks a little bit cheap. These prints, which I love, that mirror. Oh, love that, that's West Elm. Cute little vase. I don't love the desk, but I get the idea. So I, I do think out of all three, my favorite would probably be option three and option two. I think option one for me is just a bit too dark with the kind of maroon and the dark woods. So I've gone back to her and I've kind of pointed out what I like and what I don't like. One of the big discussions for us has been the beauty desk. The beauty desk is so tricky because I have so much, well, I don't even have so much makeup compared to other beauty bloggers, but I've got a lot of makeup that I need to store and a lot of the desks just have really small drawers. We've looked at like normal desks as well as beauty desks. I'm thinking one of the drawers under the TV I can empty out. It's got a few sunglasses in there and I can make that extra beauty storage or maybe put something in my office for that. But I do like having everything kind of nearby when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm filming. So the desk is something we're looking at. I sent her all the measurements for my room last night. We're definitely getting somewhere. At the moment, I'm trying to think if I want a bench or a console table on that plain wall. Um, both have different kind of benefits. Also, something she said she usually does is she'll ask her clients for a budget and then she'll go out and have like a shopping day and buy all the bits, all the styling bits, the vases, the, the coffee table books. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure. Just because I feel like all those little bits in a room, they're things that you've seen and you've kind of fallen in love with and gone, oh my God, I love that. And I feel a bit weird about someone else picking those things for me, even though I know that she's going to pick really nice things. So I asked if there's any way we can make it a little bit more collaborative. And she said she's going to look online, find some things and send them to me. And I feel a bit more comfortable with that. Even though I know she'll do a good job, I just feel a bit weird knowing that I haven't like picked anything out. Anyway, that's the update for now. I'm going to eat my scrambled eggs and I'll update you when there's more to talk about. Hi everyone. Oh, Rich, <laughs> look at us. We're stripes. We can't go out together today. A little update on the whole bedroom renovation makeover thing. So after I spoke to you last time, Rebecca and I kind of worked on the list of what I needed to buy. So I kind of went through all the accessories things and was like, I'm not really fond of this, but I like this. And we basically just condensed it into one list. When I did this, it was like two weeks before Black Friday. So I thought I might as well wait and see like what discounts I can get. And I've never done Black Friday like properly before. Um, I just don't, you know, I never really need anything and I don't love shopping in the sales. But this time I was like, it's so worth it. The amount of stuff I'm buying, let's just wait and see. And I was right from like the week before Black Friday, all of these brands were doing like massive discounts, especially like Larry Doot. So I thought, oh my God, the Black Friday anxiety was real. It was like a real panic, but I put the list, I made a list on my phone and I put it like Cox and Cox, Larry Doot. I did it like from H&M, like different shops. And as I bought it, I like put like a strike through and it was like a whole ordeal. So for that whole week, I was just ordering things and I spent a lot of money, but oh my God, the amount I saved. I don't think I'm gonna share, I was gonna share how much I've saved, but I'm just worried about people like getting judgy. Like, yeah, I went to all high street places, but basically I saved, like as much as I spent, like I saved a ridiculous amount. So I'm really glad I did actually wait for Black Friday. I got a lot of stuff and it was a lot to buy in one go, but I think it's gonna look amazing. Um, I've slowly been putting stuff in the bedroom as it's been arriving, but I wanted to show you guys properly. So I'm like putting things I can put out, like bedside tables and 
uh, console tables and stuff like that I'm doing, but we're gonna wait until January for Rebecca, because one of my made.com orders won't come till January, so we're gonna wait, and then Rebecca's gonna come over, and either a handyman, or maybe Richard's dad might help us, we're gonna put some shelves up and some prints, and I'm gonna wait for her to do that, because I want her to say where they should go. All the orders actually have come really fast, but there is, I think, yeah, I think there's one we've gotta wait for in January, and then we will have everything. It's very exciting. Right, I've got quite a few new deliveries here so I'm gonna open these up and see what they are I think we've got West Elm H&M Larry Doot and then there's some in the hallway which I'm gonna bring in now as well okay let me show you some of the things I don't want to ruin it all but we've got some like wooden trays and plant pots we've got a little marble tray oh these are the coat hanger things we've got some frames from Desenio cushion cover from Etsy <gasps> there's a rug oh my god this is so exciting and this giant thing, I'm not sure where this is gonna go. These are the new Tala bulbs that we ordered, the porcelain two. Um, the oval ones weren't in the sale, they would have been nicer, but let's see what these look like instead of these. I'm not massively convinced, but then I guess for the overall style of the room, they probably will work better. A few sneak peeks of the room, bedside table, a new console. Do you know what, I do like it actually. This is it bright and dim. Um, let's turn on this main light. It is a bit more kind of Scandi minimalist vibe actually. I think that does look nice. Rebecca knows what she's talking about. Don't worry guys, nothing's going to waste. I've put one of the bulbs down here for the lamp. We're all ill. Me and Rich have sore throats. Grey has a cold and a cough. So we are staying in today, it's a Saturday, and I thought I would do some organizing. I'm gonna clear out my makeup from my beauty desk so that we can put the new one together and put everything else in there. I'm gonna store the stuff I use most often in the desk and then spare makeup I think I'm gonna put in the console. That's kind of the plan. The IKEA desk has gone to my sister's. A rare moment of space. This is quite exciting. Just need to sort out this mess. <laughs> this desk is literally a desk and you screw the legs in. That is my kind of DIY. We have a little bit of an unwell baby on our hands, but I'm gonna frame some prints. This is one that Anna got me for my birthday last year that I never actually found a place for, so I'm really happy now it's gonna have a place in my bedroom, but I'm just gonna put it in a new beach wood colour frame and I've got a couple of other prints I think that I'm gonna put into frames as well. Someone's wanting to help. Can you keep your hands off my nail polishes please? Yep, pass me that frame, thank you. I'm gonna end this video here because um, I don't wanna show too much of the room because I wanna show the proper reveal when it's done. Headboard is the only thing that hasn't been decided on yet and I think we are in talks and I think it might be happening in January. So for now, the room isn't finished, but it's getting there. And the little bits I've done so far, I can see have made so much difference. So I'm excited for the final look before and after video. Let me know what you think so far. Sorry, the light's terrible. It's really dark. It's just so wintry. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. If I don't see you before Christmas, have a nice Christmas.